first thing I noticed when we got our fifth wheel project trailer home was how bad the landing leg squeaked when we unhitched it from the truck. I took that as a sign that the rest of the RV needed lubrication too. Lubricating the RV is the easiest preventive maintenance job RV owners can do, but it's usually overlooked or forgotten. If you spend 15 minutes lubricating your RV, you can prevent problems with components on the RV down the road. Let's do some RV preventive maintenance right now. I restore cars, trucks, and RVs, and when you work on old vehicles, one thing you need in your shop or garage is a good spray lubricant. I personally use Shield T9 for everything that needs lubricated. You can use it on cars, boats, bikes, tools, and RVs. What I like about this product is it penetrates and displaces any moisture, and then it leaves a wax film for lasting lubrication. It offers rust protection and waterproof lubrication wherever you need it. On the RV, I start with all the lock cylinders. This keeps the keys operating freely and helps prevent the lock cylinders from freezing in cold temperatures. I use it on all the hinge points of the steps and on the stabilizer jacks. And I use it on the fifth wheel landing gear to stop all that squeaking. Don't forget the slide outs, hinges, windows, and awning hardware too. After you lubricate an area, it's a good idea to exercise it to get maximum benefit from the lubrication. These are just a few places on the RV you should lubricate on a routine basis. You can basically use this lubricant on any moving parts and it's safe to use on most paint, plastic, and vinyl surfaces. On painted and plastic surfaces, I do recommend trying it in an inconspicuous area first to make sure there's no adverse effects. That's one more preventive maintenance job out of the way. To learn more about your RV, take a minute to visit www.rveducation101.com. Happy camping.